Hello, my name is Marika Yang. I am a professional writing major with additional majors in creative writing and social and political history with a minor in film and media studies. My thesis is titled, A Side of Rice, My Time Working at a Chinese Restaurant, and I was advised by Professor Jane Bernstein. As my thesis is a work of creative nonfiction, I will read a brief excerpt. Chapter one, introduction to Citron Gourmet. It seemed like a weird thing to say I was here for a thesis project. I didn't think they would know what a thesis was, and I had no idea how to explain it in Chinese. My Chinese wasn't good. When I spoke with Citron Gourmet's manager, Julie, on the phone, she heard my failed attempts to form sentences of broken Chinese with my heavy American accent. I immediately switched to English when I didn't know how to vocalize what I wanted to say. I could hear her skepticism about my limited Chinese language skills, and perhaps I'd slightly inflated my abilities. But nevertheless, she said I had to be fluent in Chinese, especially in writing, to be a waitress, and I wasn't going to even try to lie. So I was here to be a busser. Julie was thin and willowy, a couple of inches taller than me, perhaps in her 40s, with a kind but stern face framed with frizzy black hair. I was here for a test run, a training shift, before she officially hired me. Let me show you around, she said, with the elegant air of someone who held authority and was comfortable with it. I was, I was excited, hopeful about the job. I wanted it. When I was little, I had fantasized about being a waitress, glamorized it. It had always seemed like what all the famous stars were before they hit it big. Not that I had any dreams of being a celebrity. I had heard all the horror stories about working in the service industry, the long hours and low tips, the bad treatment, and the mishandling of food. I had read Kitchen Confidential. I had tried to get a waitressing job during my senior year of high school, but mom encouraged me to be a cashier instead at a local bookstore turned gift shop, which closed last year. She said I was a bull in a china shop, which wasn't wrong if I was completely honest with myself. I didn't think busing would be a hard job. There was a reason it was the lowest position in the front of the house. Bussers had to make less, I thought, but money wasn't the reason why I was trying to get a job here. Thank you.